and Sharon Osbourne, 64, has slammed some of the past contestants who have seen their star soar, and falter, all within a short space of time. Speaking on Sirius XM, Sharon alluded to one hit wonders of the past, they'll do a single or an album, people will buy it and then they won't buy another one, so it is dead and gone. The wife of Black Sabbath rock Rousey continued, saying it was more about people's personalities than their talent. It's about people getting invested in people, she said. They get invested in a couple of these contestants and they will see it through. Even the most popular contestants cannot fare well against the ever-changing conveyor belt of hopeful. There is another one and another one. It is sort of like Kim, Sharon admitted. The famously outspoken judge couldn't resist taking his swipe at rival BBC show, The Voice. I don't think there has ever been a hit worldwide that has ever been on the show, she said. Because that show is about the panel. They say it is about the contestants, but really it's not that some of the disillusioned hopefuls include Frankie Cocosa, who left the show in 2011 after his wild partying ways. The 24-year-old now works as a laborer for £7.50 an hour. Sam Bailey who won the 2013 series and toured with Beyonce, self playing her own album last year. Sharon and Ozzy's marriage was marred by an adultery scandal last year but they have seemed to put their past behind them and celebrated their 35th anniversary in July. And just over a year after Sharon Osbourne nearly ended her relationship with husband Ozzy for good, she sensationally revealed he cheated on her with six other women. Opening up about the Black Sabbath rocker's multiple indiscretions, the 64-year-old told the Telegraph there were six of them, some Russian teenager, then a masseuse in England, our masseuse out here. And then our cook. The outspoken star, who famously labeled Ozzy a big dirty dog when she uncovered his affairs, also revealed she found out about his cheating when he accidentally sent her an email.